Hello there, it's Courtney and it is another match day vlog. It is again in the Premier League, it is Wednesday night, so Anfield will be under the lights. We're taking on Newcastle, um, which is really cool for me because half of my life I've lived up in Newcastle, um, well, just outside Newcastle, but everyone up there supports Newcastle. All my family do, so it's a bit like a derby. Um, but I don't mind Newcastle, I do hope we thrash them. Like, if there's another 9 0. Love it. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to tonight's game. I always love us playing Newcastle. Um, but yeah, I am sat in the lower Anfield Road. It is probably one of the strangest sections of um, Anfield for me because it is part of the Anfield Road end, but it faces the same way as the Kenny Daglish stand. So when I get there, I'll show you it, but it is like a really weird section for me, I think. Be interesting to see how they change it with the new Anfield Road expansion, which I will also show off on some down there. Um, but yeah, today I've got a hoodie on from left to right, and it is probably the most iconic t-shirt for the match at the minute. Jürgen holding a pair of 110s and an Erdinger. Absolutely love it, the design is boss and they have loads of other boss designs so i will link them in the top corner and i also link them in the description um i have a code of them courtney 10 and it gets you some money off so if you want to go and check them out save yourself some money there um but yeah i have predicted the lineup for today um it is i think there'll be one change in particular but other than that i'm not really sure where we can change at the minute because of injuries so yeah i am just I've got the sporting gap up, I've put my team in, um, yeah so sporting is like a football app for football fans, it has all the news, you can select what team you want to follow and you can join group chats, so I have a group chat with a few of you on there, so I will again link that in the description, it'll bring you a link straight to join our group and we share our predictions for the lineups anything else to do with the club that's going on transfer rumors any other bits of news you want to say check out and i also post when these videos are going so if you ever have any questions about the videos you can ask them in there yeah so into my starting lineup i have allison and goal obviously then i have trent gomez van dyke and simicus the reason i'm going simicus isn't just because he's my favorite player um <laughs> i think robertson at the minute he needs a little bit of a break with the derby coming up, that's my thought at the minute is, we've got the derby on Saturday, Robertson's just played the Saturday gone, Simicus came on and had a cracking game and he's been coming on a lot recently, so for me I would throw Simicus in instead of Robertson, just with the derby in mind, um, so that's where I'd go midfield, I'd then go Henderson, Fabinho, Elliot. One, because of injuries, but also I think Elliot has been outstanding lately. One of our best players so far this season. Front three, Saleh, Firmino, Diaz again. Not much change we can make there for the injuries. But yeah, so if you want to see my starting lineup for every game, Sporting Gap, I will put the team in on the side here as I read it out. But with that being said, I'm going to go Anfield. I'm going to see the coach come in, hopefully. Hopefully see a lot of goals. Whether we hit 9-0 again or more, I doubt it, but that was an amazing game, that Bournemouth game, absolutely loved it. And I caught near enough all the goals, I think I missed two, but I got the celebrations for them still. Um, but yeah, I am excited for this game. I'll probably be going to Hotel Anfield again, I'll be watching the coach. Yeah, can't wait, let's go.
there's the Anfield Road expansion. I think I'm actually going to be walking through it just there, but the seats are in, a little bit of the roof's in. It's looking good. But yeah, walking under it's going to be weird. Team news is out. We have Alison and Goal, Trent, Gomez, Van Dyke, Robertson, which for me personally, I think we should put Simicus in with the derby coming up. Um, Harvey Elliott, Fabinho, Henderson, Salah, Firmino, Diaz. So my team prediction was right, except Robertson, just because I thought with the derby coming up, he would have put Simicus in. Hopefully, he puts Simicus on early just so Robertson does have a bit of a rest before the derby on Saturday because that is a big game. Um, but yeah, that's like pretty good. And then Newcastle's squad has Nick Pope in goal, who's anyone who's watched Newcastle this season, Nick Pope has been amazing for them, a brilliant sign on for them. Um, Kevin Trippier, Lascelles, Dan Byrne, Target, Joe Willock, um, Longstaff, Ryan Fraser, Al Moron, Isaac which is a new player, he's made it. Um, I just want to say, well, Newcastle have stole the Simicus songs from him. But their new signing is starting along with Joel Linton. Um, I bet one bonus from that from us is they're not starting St. Maximum, who is iconic for them, like really main man of the squad really for Newcastle, I would say a lot of the time. Um, and the new guy who's come in, hasn't had many training sessions so that could be a massive favour for us but we'll see how it goes I'm going to head in now again I'm in the lower Anfield Road but I'm in the corner which is a bit weird to the seat which I'll show you what I mean once I get in there um, let's just hope we get the three points let's do this That's it.
game. A last minute winner. I am um, whispering now because it's quite late. Oh the weather that was because of the eight minutes I had. 
add on because there was five and then Nick Pope chose to go down for ages. Nick Pope, he's a he's a good goalkeeper. I have watched him so far for Newcastle. He's really good for them, but a lot of time wasting the day and a lot of um Pickford imitations from the derby last season where he'd go down for a while on top of the ball. Um, Newcastle, time wasting a lot. But yeah, we weren't we weren't great. We got the win, which is the main thing, like, and we had the strength to continue on that. And then, I think, once we got the equaliser, that just gave us the lift to keep attacking. But, for the majority of the game, we were quite poor again, which is a bit worrying. Um, Trent, at times, was very, a bit poor. Um, but, yeah, Carvalho was a player. Harvey Elliott, what a player. I think them two, like, ones for the future to watch out for at this point, because... They just seem to be like, they are the best players in the squad right now, in all honesty. Um, better than Fage, better than Trent, better than Robbo, better than Salah. Salah's being very quiet. Um, Bobby, scoring again, made up for him. Um, but yeah, really, really stressful game. I'm absolutely knackered now, as you can probably tell. Um, there was an incident at the end on the bench, which I've just found out about, which was, there was, um, our, when we scored the winner, our bench jump up and celebrate us. Um, as one of our coaches are running towards the touchline, someone from Newcastle bench stands up in anger and sort of throws a bottle and it goes towards them. Um, so I believe there was a bit of a, um, an argument because of that, which I'm not surprised at. Um, unfortunately, Henderson has got a hamstring injury as well, it looks like, which it's not good news going into the Derby and Napoli and then Wolves next week. Like We've got a busy lot of fixtures coming up, especially this World Cup break. There is, so uh, we play Everton at Goodison on Saturday. Then followed by Wednesday night, we are playing Napoli in the first game of the Champions League for this season. So the game's coming thick and fast and we're picking up more injuries. But anyways, yeah, me seat. Um, so I was in block 128, which is in the Lower Anfield Road, but it sort of faces the same direction as the Hen Kenny Daglish stand. It's a bit of a weird area. Um, where I was sat, it was row 29, right over um, the side towards like the far corner I wouldn't recommend it I really struggled to see the cop end it was not a good view <laughs> uh, even like Danfield Road and the times quite struggled to see there was not enough to say it was a restricted view but just a tip for anyone who's looking at buying that like if you can get a ticket anywhere else I would try to um, I've been in the restricted few tickets before and they're not that bad this was bad and it was not sold as a restricted few ticker so um, a bit frustrated at that but i got a credit from it so i made up of that um but yeah really like it's a really weird game because i wasn't happy with the performance but i'm really happy with the win so yeah I, like i said nick pope pickford wanna be um yeah my man of the match is probably is carvalho i think when he came on we just had that difference one of the best players we've got, especially if coming off the bench, and I think it's a real strong arg argument now that does he start the derby? So let me know your thoughts below. Would you start Cavallo for the derby because his performance is lately just being brilliant? And obviously Henderson's out now with a hamstring injury. So let me know what your thoughts are. That being said, I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>